Welcome to On Deck, I'm Matt Harris, and you may or may not notice that this is episode 72 of On Deck, and Jay Goldman hasn't been on since episode 12. What is going on, Jay? I was waiting. You know, I was waiting. I needed to get, we, we needed a good 50 episode gap in there, but, or even 60 episode gap, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm back. My I'm people back. contacted your people, it's you true. didn't we call had a me. We had a, the negotiations broke down. The important thing is you're here now. Uh, it is. Now, since episode 12, we've done a ton of Mr. Mobiles, but now you're also doing something called Ripple.com. What's that all about? I am, yeah. I am, uh, my day job when I'm not doing the butterscotch stuff is uh, head of marketing at a company called Ripple, which is a Toronto startup. And we're doing awesome stuff around teams and feedback in the workplace, making sure managers can give their teams feedback, making sure the teams can get the feedback that they need, making everybody more awesome. Sounds cool to me. Now, the when you first were on the Butterscotch Network, you were Mr. Mobile. So we'll talk about that in a second, but do, considering what your day job is now, it only made sense to kind of segue you into something about social media, Absolutely. aka status update. Yeah, so one of the big things about Ripple is making it social in the workplace, making sure that you know all the feedback that you give other people in the company can see and, and comment on, and when you're doing sort of coaching sessions with people, there's a whole social aspect to it. So as I kind of got more involved in the social and we started to talk about it, we said, you know, mobile's a really interesting space. There's still a lot of stuff going on there, but the really interesting space is where the mobile and social is starting to cross over a lot. We're getting a lot of mobile devices that are totally full of social software. You can do all kinds of social stuff on them. We're getting a lot of really cool stuff going on in the social world. And so maybe it made sense to make a little bit of a transition there. And so we actually retired Mr. Mobile and we are now doing a show called Status Update. Now, I think you guys have shot five episodes so far and you're shooting, I think, four or five more today. You have to like the new green screen feel. Mm -hmm, I, think, yeah. I think that's kind of, I don't yeah. know why you trust Sean though. He could put anything behind you. I, I don't trust Sean. That's right. That's the secret. Hey. <laughs> we just have to assume that he's going to put the perfect backdrop behind you, make you look good. So for today's shoot on the green screen, what are you guys talking about? Uh, we're going to talk about a whole bunch of stuff. We're talking about uh, flavors.me. It's a really cool service that lets you bring all your social profiles into one website. So something that's been kind of missing. It's been hard to get them all in one place. Uh, we're going to talk about some Facebook stuff, got a little bit of Twitter stuff, and some advice for people who are thinking of starting blogging but not really sure how to jump into it. Sounds very cool. So before I let you go, I, we still have to talk a little bit about the mobile side of you and Mr. Mobile. Even though you're not doing it now, I'm very curious to get your take on the iPhone 4 uh, and kind of the blunders or the publicity that Apple has gotten recently. I mean, you know, the thing about Apple is that they get publicity for doing anything. So they get publicity for accidentally leaving a phone in a bar, which got them basically a free launch. <laughs> See, of the I product. do that all the time, and I don't get any publicity. Nobody, nobody covers like, where'd my phone go? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that you know, so they, so they had like a free launch of the product. Then they had the actual launch. Then they got all of this publicity around the antenna issue. And I think, you know, their handling of the antenna issue hasn't been good. I'm pretty sure telling people they were holding the phone wrong, maybe Probably not the not best way idea. to kind of approach it. Um, you know, we've all had iPhones before. We've all had phones before. I never had to be instructed in how to hold it. Before. So, you know, that might not have been the best call. Uh, but, I mean, I think that, you know, the phone is amazing. Mm -hmm. Antenna issues aside, iOS 4 is amazing. And, you know, even we just, like, RIM just released some new previews of BlackBerry OS 6. And looks an awful lot like an iPhone. Mm -hmm. And it looks like an iPhone, you know, six months ago. So they're really playing catch up here. Right. So you can just see that Apple's continuing to keep their lead in the space. And eh, people forget about the antenna issue. It'll mm -hmm. go away. Maybe Apple's addressed it in the new phones, even though apparently it's not actually a hardware problem. Although <laughs> I'm not so sure I believe that one, but. Uh, well, one last question then with all of that summarizing, Jay Goldman to iPhone 4 or not to iPhone 4? I will iPhone 4. Really? Yes. Really? Okay. I think I'm going to too, but I still have the 3G. So I'm like. Years. I have a 3GS yeah, and yeah. I love my 3GS. And you know, every now and then I think about going Android. Should I go Android? Should I, you know, should I not? And that would really be the only other option that I personally would look right. at. Uh, but every time I play with an Android phone, I just feel like it's not quite there. Okay. You know, and so uh, fair enough. So I will, I will do the iPhone four. Okay. Well, thank you for being on deck. For everything we've My spoken pleasure. about today, please go to butterscotch.com. Good luck with your shoot today. I hope uh, Sean doesn't put like some kind of monster or you know dragon or anything behind you, because you know that would just be mean. So check out butterscotch.com for all the show notes. I'm Matt Harris with Jay Goldman. See you next week. <laughs>